Let's compare the logic analyzer feature of the Regal MSO 7000 series and the Tektronix MDO 3000 series. The Tektronix has firmware version 1.26. With Tektronix 3000 series, we're able to add custom labels to the logic analyzer channels. To do this, we go into Edit Labels, and then we can create our own by using our cursor knob and entering a different letter. And for this, I'm just going to enter in these. And now we can also enter in preset labels. So the error down to the next channel, and then I can use the other knob to select our different label, and then press select. And what we can see here is our two custom labels were created and added over on the left hand side. The instrument can also use the cursor, and if we exit out of the logic analyzer menu, we can use the cursor to associate the bit stream along with a time component. And what we've got is we've got our two sort of vertical axes that we can move with our multi-purpose knobs and those are associated with our logic up here on the right hand side of the cursor menu. With Regal's MSO 7000 series we're able to create custom labels and apply them to any of the logic analyzer channels. To do this I go into the logic analyzer menu and I go into the label menu and I can select our labels. I can also choose to create our own custom ones and to do that I start off with first creating a couple different ones. And now that we've created a custom one, we'll see it appear down here at D0. We can also choose from a myriad of built-in sort of options, which we can also use to label our different logic analyzer channels. Additionally, the MSO 7000 series can use our cursor menu to monitor our logic analyzer channels. And we can do this by moving our channels across the way. And what this is allowing us to do is we can see our highs and lows of the logic analyzer channels associated with time depending on where the trigger point is. Additionally, the logic analyzer can also, we can group our channels together. And to do that, I can go into the logic analyzer menu and then on off, and then I can group them. So let's say let's group D2, D3, and D4 together. And if we go back and we turn on group one, we'll see three orange lines, three channels turn the orange. And where this is useful is when we're looking at a large bus, where say we're looking at eight different lines or 16 different lines, we want to just look at three individual lines specifically or draw attention to them, which can make viewing our signals faster and easier. 